הקדוש ברוך הוא טוב, חודש טוב. אין סימן א' אין שולחן ערוך, מרן ברינג זאן התגבר כארי לעמוד בבוקר לעבודת בוראו, שהוא, שיהיה הוא מעורר את השחר. What does that mean? A person should wake up early in the morning, they should strengthen themselves in order that he himself is wakening the morning. What does that mean, wakening the morning? Meaning that it's not that he's sleeping and then, right, the morning already has come and then he wakes up, but rather he is the one that is actually awakening the morning. Now, because the net is later, it's very easy to do this. However, though, it becomes a little bit more challenging further on. The Rav Chida brings down that since this is the first din in the Shulchan Aruch, we actually have to be mitchazek bo biyoter. We have to strengthen ourselves even stronger in this. Because if this is the halacha book, this is the book of where they're going to talk about laws, and this is the first halacha which is brought down in Shulchan Aruch, so this is the first thing that we have to actually come and to be mitchazek. And therefore he says, Im yishlot ha-yetzera la-adam bedin ha-rishon, yikshe alav lekayim gam et shara dinim v'alachot. But if it's going to be that the yetzera will control us and will make us fall in the first halacha, So then imagine how it continues following on, if it will continue on in the other halachot as well. So therefore it's very important to pay attention to this halacha. Now there's a lot of halachot here that pertain to the morning. One interesting one is going to be to do with connecting daytime to nighttime and nighttime to daytime. What does that mean? We know that there's an iyan to connect the two together. What does that mean? Laila v'yom v'yom v'layla, to make a connection between them. Now, when we are going to come and try to make a connection between them, the question is, why are we connecting them together? So, the reason why is because it's brought down in the Sefer, right, Elef Bina, that he comes and he says, as follows, this is uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Yaakov Buchatzira, he comes and he says like this, he says, Hayom u'bechinat chesed, ve'alayla u'bechinat din. Since the morning time is chesed, That's why we always say that it's always chesed during the morning. Nighttime is always judgment. It's always din, darkness. So he said, Al chibur, when we come and we start connecting the two together, mitmateka din. The din, the justice, becomes sweetened. And then the mizmol asaf comes. And he adds, she because of that, Bet chibur ayom v'alayla v'limud ha-Torah, Tzarich ha-Adam l'chavel amtik amidat ha-Layla she-yedin, V'esek Torah Torah. What does that mean? So therefore, when he's coming and he's collect, connecting the daytime to the nighttime, he actually has to have to have in mind that he is actually sweetening the deen. What does that mean? We know that at nighttime, it's a lot of justices. That's why it's much harder. You see a lot of people, it could be that they're in shachrit, the sun is out, they come to shachrit, comes Michael and Arvit, all of a sudden they're not here, right? They disappear, right? What happens, right? We have to actually pay attention and say, no, The real halakha is, is that the night time is showing that we're trying to be mamtik et adinim. We're trying to sweeten it. What does that mean, sweeten it? Even though it's difficult, and especially during the time of the mincha, that the time of the mincha is the strongest time, right, for a tefillot to be answered, right? And therefore, the Yitzhak is so strong, right? You'll realize that. You'll, mash, you'll, you'll go to Batek and Esiyot. Shachri could be jam-packed. You come in Mincha and Arvit, all of a sudden it's half-half. Why? Because since during the time of the Mincha, it's such a strong thing because of the Yitzhara, so therefore people have to pay attention. And then what happens? We come and we're going to connect the daytime with the nighttime. Now, even if we're going to pray early, what does that mean praying early? Let's say we pray Plaga Mincha, which we were doing all summer. Still, when we're praying Mincha and Arvit, Afterwards, we should be careful that there should be a shiur, that we're still being mechaber the yom v'layla, that we're still connecting the, the daytime and nighttime. Why? Because we shouldn't come afterwards and say, you know what, listen, I already prayed minchan arvit, now I'm off. One second, there's still a connection between the daytime and nighttime, which will happen right afterwards. And therefore, again, that time we should also be learning. So therefore, it's important for a person And that's what's brought down in the Ben Ishchai. Shami palel avim b'od yom, yasim el ibos shelo levazbez et shat ha-chibur ha-yom v'alayla b'sichat ha-verim, ela yasok b'divrei Torah. Still you should pray, you should come and be all sek b'divrei Torah in order to come and to make this connection between daytime and nighttime. So again, it's very, very important that first of all in the mornings we get up early. We strengthen ourselves. This is the first halakha to understand the importance of what it is coming early to the Beit Knesset, right? And number two, the connection between daytime and nighttime, nighttime and daytime, to always be learning. So therefore we're making a connection between night and day and day and night, which that will actually come and sweeten the justice which is going to be during the nighttime. <laughs>